Mike's going to jack Josh up. Can't wait. More pain than pleasure, I would have thought. Darwinism. Today is a very exciting day because the new workshop structurally is well nearly complete. It's, it's nearly complete. So, but we, we can't wait any longer because we've got all of our new workshop equipment and we've got to assemble it. We've got to decide where it's going to go. We've got to decide if it's all going to fit in here for a start. And then we've got to decide what the old stuff that we've got, whether we're going to keep it or what we're going to do with it. The weather outside is the only way I can describe it is shit. Yes. It's horrible out there. So we have done a deal with SGS, who are a well retailer here in the UK, but produce amazing workshop equipment, and they've got a massive range on their website. So you're gonna need to check it out. Let's see what we've got. We've got a 56 inch cabinet, a 56 inch top box, an engine crane, a tool trolley, a shot blasting cabinet, a 46 inch tool chest and top box, a two ton trolley jack, a 150 litre compressor, a 72 inch stainless steel cabinet, two power tool charging stations, an amazing 50 ton press. Oh yes, 50 ton. A parts washer, and my favorite, a swivel stool. I am so excited. I'm like a kid in a sweet shop with this, but I cannot wait to get it unboxed and all put together. And I hope you like the new jacket, by the way. Nice and shiny. I think I need to get it a little bit dirty because, well, it's a bit bright, but it's nice and warm. It's windproof because I definitely need that today because, as I said, the weather is crap. And let's get the guys and put all this together. So exciting. Josh is turned up in his fluorescent now, so I treat everyone to fluorescent jackets. Richie, which one are you looking forward to? The little stool. The little stool, that's my favourite too. <laughs> there we go. Don't put it down, there's, nothing, there's no bottom on that box. <laughs> How's your jacket, Joshy? Shiny. Oh, power tool charging stations, mate. Quite excited to see what these are do. I presume they've got sockets in them, I don't know. Right, we're getting a bit carried away of unboxing stuff, so we're gonna sort of just concentrate on getting one together. As Mike had a good idea, we're just gonna not work out which bit goes where in a minute. So we're actually gonna assemble some stuff before we open up some more. Ha! Kids and sweet shops, eh? SGS! Don't think I've ever seen Mike with a set of instructions in his hand. Pictures is worth a thousand words, chat. <laughs> Mike is going to get the sandblasting cabinet together. It's certainly going to help with all those rusty machines that are going to be coming in through the door. Is it going in there like that? Yeah. Rich is trying to work out how to put a stool together. Look. <laughs> One stool assembled. Look at that. You're not going to. You're, oh! Didn't think it'd take your weight, mate. Going down in the world. <laughs> <laughs> This is the power tool charging station. So you can slip all your drills and your impacts in through there. You've then got someone to put your batteries. You've got sockets in the top so you can plug your chargers in. And then all your bits and pieces and manuals and extra little bits you get in tool sets, you can put them there. I love that. And we've got two of them. So there we're going on the wall. Ah, that's the magic box I'm looking for. Magic box? Well, without that, I can't put anything together, can I? Oh, what's going on with those gloves there, Mike? Ribbed for your pleasure, is it? More pain than pleasure, I would have thought. Bottom bit needs to go on first. I'm only following the instructions, chat. Lay the old cabinet on his back, so that's what I've done. Lay most things on its back. Legs up in the air. <coughs> Legs up in the air. The cabinet door and attach the hairs from the gun. To it's like a magic box, Mike. All assembled, ready to go. Well, it's just you get a toolkit as well. you think someone buying a toolbox would have some tools to be able to put it together, wouldn't you? Ask oh, the keys. Don't lose those buggers. I think we're going to need a 13 mil spanner, you're right. I think so. Shall I go and get one? Tur 13. Pimp my tool chest. Pimp my tool chest, eh? <laughs> 13 mil spanner. So Mike's building a Dalek over here. Right, so while Rich is playing with his spanners and Mike's playing with his Dalek, then SGS. Who are SGS? SGS are a provider of garage equipment, workshop tools, gas struts power tools, loads of it. So the website is linked at the bottom of this video for all of their stuff. And obviously this is just a small selection of what they do. They're mainly known for their tool chests. There's no getting away from it. We've got quite a few here. 
But they are just brilliant. One of our guys in our old workshop, when we had the dealership, had an SGS box and everyone was envious because that was there. And they're cost effective, they're well priced. There's not you know, your, your, your snap off prices. Let's crack on, otherwise, we're not going to get this all put together. Otherwise, <laughs> you're tall enough for it, isn't that? <laughs> Just about. <laughs> I'm in. Look at that. This one even has power on it as well. So you can plug it into the wall and charge your sockets on the inside of this one. Let's see if we've got USB charging. Look. Cabinet. Does that make you a cabinet minister? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's stuck. Oddballs, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Downstairs for thinking, upstairs for doing, or whatever they say, because we need to get the wheels out of the box first before tipping it up. So that doesn't work, does it? Right, Rich, big reveal. Uh... <laughs> oh, look at that. Nice. That is nice. That is nice. Now. You can always put that in your kitchen. Oh, you could. Perhaps this is where we could have the kettle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Most satisfying bit of that. If it goes missing, it's in my kitchen. Mike's like a kid at Christmas here. He's on the two and a half ton trolley jack now. Ugh. Well, this is what's outside today. Uh, no! Oh, we're gaining from there. I don't know if you hear that rain. That is. That is some rain. Look up. Mike's going to jack Josh up. I didn't jack it in half, am I? <laughs> <laughs> Not a anymore. Oh, Richie, what have you got here now, eh? Parts washer. Look at that. What a beast. Guys have been busy while I've been gone. We've got those two. And now we've got another one, which is a 48 inch box. And we've got 150 litre compressor. How posh is that? We've still got to put the 50 ton press together, which we're going to do in a minute. And then we have the two ton engine crane. What a weapon. We have the sound blasting Dalek, the trolley jack, the parts washer, Richard's stool. I'd like to see a stool stand. The tool trolley. And you've got a key. There it goes, look at that look. Oh yeah. Oh, you can put a little naughty calendar on there, Rich, can you? <laughs> and then we've got the power tool jobbies. Yes, coming together. Just need to work out where it's all going. Oh, I um, can't wait. Well, I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm totally impressed. Yeah. Should we press on? Why not? Hang on, got my walkie knife here somewhere as well. Oh, Mike's got his... Leatherman? It's not metal because it didn't show up on the uh, metal detector going through Lama. <laughs> no, it didn't. To use, um, you know, mechanical force to lift the press. We used to have a 20 ton press. So this is a fair upgrade from what we had before. Please read the safety instructions before use. A failure to do so may result in personal injury. That is in you fucking... Blow a bolt right through your brain box. Yeah. Darwinism, the stupid ones die and then they don't breed. <laughs> Take off the safety labels and society will sort itself out. Says me holding it while it's being held up by a five ton ratchet strap on a telehandler underneath the boom. Mint. Rich has got the congestible. The yeah, metrical imperial. <laughs> <laughs> 19 mil or three quarter inch, <laughs> you, you decide. The one thing I'm looking forward to most about getting all this sorted is that we can actually get back to doing some proper work, as in like repairing shit. Now that is a piece of meat, eh? I'm not talking about Richard. What at all? Right, I'm gonna leave that to Rich and Mike to 
do the magic. Even comes with a free coffin. How's it going? All right, site manager. Oh, no, I'm not a site manager. I'm an excited manager. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at this, Rich. Got some more benches. Got the stainless steel benches, which you had in the old workshop in here. One there. Another one there. Ah, if I can give you a little bit of advice. Mikey's getting set up. This is going to be Mike's botch, Charlotte. Mike's tool truck. We've got the press over here. Everything else going on. Oh, yes. So it's starting to come together. It is. It is looking bloody brilliant. So well happy with the SGS stuff. It is just awesome. Chosen right, done right, just bob on. And it's extremely well priced. So make sure you check them out. It's definitely worth it. We have got to finish this workshop. So there's another video coming very, very soon where we get all of this done, all of that done, all of this finished and looking absolutely bob on. It's going to be bloody amazing. So make sure you stay tuned. We'll see you soon. Cheerio. Bye.